Hey, what's up guys? It is Justin here back and I'm bringing you a video and this video will be how to play defense and uh, for sure one of my main strengths of this game is defense. I'm not, I would say I don't have the puck sense uh, for skills for offense at least. I know I'm okay at it, like I can score goals, I can uh, score those glitch goals, but when it comes to defense I do pride myself uh, with knowing how to defend a little bit. So for those people that want to learn, I'm going to first show you guys my strategies. Uh, it's nothing too special. Everybody plays defense differently for sure. Uh, I'm not sure if this has changed. Yeah, this has changed. All right. So here are my strategies here. Um, you just go to... Wait, wait, wait. Let me back up here. But you just want to go to the My Team tab. Go to Team Strategies. It's one of the boxes there. And then um, you can look at my thing right now. I'm just going to quickly show it. Uh, but basically all the forward lines are about the same. Uh, and defense, that is just like a quick TLDR if you want to... Uh, if you just want to see the strategies really quick. But... I'm gonna go to team strategies here. I like to put it on that one, two, two aggressive. It just always worked for me. Uh, this is actually offense kind of a uh, neutral zone. Neutral zone. Sorry. I like to do the one four. I like to have four guys back while I have one guy four checking. And just it's easier to defend when you guys ha when you have guys back already, especially in the neutral zone. I don't like how you have two three guys rushing and then it could be like an automatic three on two or something like that. I like to have my guys back usually. Uh, this one, uh, there's something different with this year. Uh, there's a neutral zone slider that you can do. And uh, I like to keep it on the neutral zone slider. I like to keep it on the low end side. Uh, I do this because I like the offensive zone for checking. I like everybody to move up all at once. Uh, offensive pressure, I like to just keep it standard. Nothing too aggressive, but nothing uh, too defensive either. Uh, for this one, defensive pressure, sorry about that, I'm just moving here, but uh, defensive pressure, I like to keep on high just because I like to uh, be able to get the puck nice and quickly in the defensive zone. I think this is probably one of the most important ones. I remember try, trying to protect the puck or protect the net, sorry, protect the net. And uh, I never really liked that too much i like when my guys are chasing it and really puts pressure on the players themselves and the from what i know the ai has been proved improved a little bit this year so the high pressure is definitely something you want to put on obviously if you're a guy that likes to sit back and likes to just let them take shots i mean feel free to put it on uh, protect the net but high pressure just works the best for me and defensive strategy i like to put it on staggered i am just butchering my words here but i like to put it on staggered uh, just because I think there's a couple other ones, but tight point I used to use, but then uh, for scoring on the defensive zone, uh, or when uh, defense scores on me, usually it's not usually from the point, um, not this much this year. Last year it was very boosted up, like you could take a shot from the point and it usually went in, but the goalies are now predicting those a bit more if it's just a straight in shot, so I don't like using tight point anymore. Uh, collapsing I don't really like to use either, uh, just because I don't, Want my, I want my players to be able to block shots and keep the pressure on. So staggered kind of, you know, it just mixes it up for for me at least. Uh, and let's go to the penalty kill. Penalty kill, I like to do the large box. Any type of defensive zone strategy where it will attack the puck carrier, that's what I want to do. I want to put pressure on the puck carrier uh, just because that's what I like to do. Uh, power play is, is on overload. That's not really defensive strategy. I mean, a good offense is also a good defense. So, I like to put that on overload. Just, you, I guess you can put on different ones. I mean, umbrella I don't really like because once again the shots are definitely nerfed a little bit in this game. Uh, shooting once again a little bit nerfed. So overload I like to get those pucks right in front of the net and just shoot it. Uh, power play carry I like to carry in the zone. That's just about it. Uh, I don't like how I I don't like the dump ins this year. So. I just carry the puck in myself. I pride myself in also getting into the offensive zone as well. You can see the amount of 45 degree cuts I do all the time. And I will show you a couple examples of how to play defense as well. So just bear that in mind that I will be showing that in a little bit. But forward line, I like to put it on carry, cycle, efficiency, block. Nothing too fancy. I like to carry it in. I like to cycle the puck to get the one-timers in the middle of the slot. Efficiency. Uh, for my first two forward lines, I like to keep that on the on the low end. I want them to use as much energy as possible uh, on the efficiency side, so you know I can score those goals with my best players. Uh, I don't like to block uh, for those shots because once again, shots are nerfed, so I don't really like to block it because the worst thing is getting a tip in or something like that. So forward line two, they're about the same. Line three, I like to put the efficiency up. 
Uh, I don't like blocking shots at all, so I just put that slider down. But efficiency is up there, uh, just because you know, I, I like I like to uh, be able to recharge my line one and line two guys. So uh, behind the net, actually, I'm gonna change that back to I think overload. I always like overload. So overload efficiency high. Line three, line four. Uh, I want to recharge my line one and line two, so I put the efficiency up for those lines. So defensive pairing, that's probably what you guys want to know as well. I like to have the cycle game. I don't like to have uh, the taking the shot on net. It's, I felt like it's nerfed this year. Hold the line. I, I don't really care. I want it to be even. Like I want the AI to choose whether or not it's a good idea or a bad idea. I don't want it to like risk on pinch plays every single time. So every single slider is the same for defensive pairing. So I'm going to quickly show you guys, I'm going to save the strategies here, quickly show you how I play defense and what you want to look out for. And I'm going to show you a couple examples on the screen right now. All right, so basically what you're trying to do is, from here, this clip at least, I'm just showing you how to break into the zone. I'm saying take your time, but you also want to be unpredictable as well. You don't want people to know what you are doing, but uh, for defense at least, all you want to do, for, and this is going to be breakout as well, make the smart play. Uh, don't rush the play as well, and don't try to throw the puck out whenever you want to, but I think uh, this part, I'm try just trying to show you how to defend. You do not want to give them the inside position at any time, so you can see what I'm doing here. But I'm really just trying to take away any of that spot to get in. I don't care if he takes a shot from the outside, uh, but you just don't want to give him that inside position where he can get that shot off, because those go in almost 50% of the time. Uh, but here, just showing you some more defensive plays. You just want to be standing in front of him. You don't want to be running for the hits. I'm actually a guy that doesn't like to go for hits that much other than in those really close quarters where I know I'm going to be able to hit him. And uh, this part of the clip is actually a 5 on 3 in the last pack squads. Uh, and I'm just showing you how to defend in a penalty kill as well because you will be put into those situations for sure, right? Uh, but in 5 on 3, I knew I was up by one goal and I needed to play smart. It's obvious uh, I wasn't going to score a goal on a 5 on 3 against him unless I was lucky. You just want to get the shots off and dump the puck down. It does burn off time. And as much as you don't want to or you want to carry it, you want to make the smart play. And that is the smart play during that time. Uh, just You want to be standing in front of him, making sure you don't give him that inside lane, that really good chance. And when those chances are uh, whatever, whenever you get... A very desperate moment like you're just falling behind him i was falling behind him in one of those plays you just don't you want to be poking the puck as much, much as possible uh as any last minute resort things and just more things here just me defending um just trying to play defensively you want all three guys back on a five on three you don't want to be rushing you want to stand in front of the guy make you can do whatever moves he wants uh just make sure that you are in front of those passing and shooting lanes making sure that you, he won't be able to get a good shot off those really high percentage scoring chances and that's just a couple of methods on just a little bit on how to improve your game if you are a lower end player i obviously know that for those higher end guys you can obviously play better than me and defensively and offensively but in terms of my little game uh game style uh defending is very key to nhl at least and just make sure you don't go for running for the hits uh, sometimes it is a good time, but sometimes you don't want to. Uh, just make sure you play defensively, get in front of those block shot lanes, and you want to not give them the inside position. But that's just about it for defending. That's about all I know. Uh, there are a couple other situations here and there, but you just want to make sure uh, that you try try playing defense because it is a main thing. Also, uh, Also, going into the offensive zone, Getting cycle time is also good defense. It recharges your defensive uh, lines because they can stay on the bench longer. And their defensive gets tired more faster than your uh, line for sure if you're uh, always being on the offense. But that's just about it. Uh, just take your time. Want to make the smart plays. And that's just about it. All right. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Like, I'll appear.